Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Mega Latios in the Master League. And you see here my opponent is a Mega Charizard. What I did is I asked on Twitter for some level 40 Master League battles and people are able to use like a general Mega Pokemon as well. And I was using of course my Mega Latios which has just got released and I already did some raids during the night when it was released in like the Asian regions but yeah like here we have mine now. Mine is a 14, 15, 15 shiny version. I'm definitely trying to get it to level 50 but yeah I generally want to take a look on how good like those Mega Pokemon are, how balanced they are and in general take a look at the potential it might have for Go Battle League because we're very very likely gonna get a cup where mega pokemon are available at the end of the season like for at least one day so yeah that's gonna be very interesting how this all gonna turn out and we see here the Mewtwo coming in with the upside strike we still survive this and we can go for draco dragon claw and we are able to farm down actually which is crazy and we see the cherries are coming in we're gonna be able to go for an earthquake and win this game so um i have two questions first uh, do you like the background of this video right now this is basically the background that i have for my thumbnails but i got like rid of all the other things that i put on there and i didn't blur it usually i just just use my thumbnails on blurred in the background. I don't know if it's better or worse. Let me know. And here we have, by the way, a level 50 Excadrill, which, is, yeah, we had to rematch later on, I think, but like I'm still gonna put this one in. And also, the second question that I have do you want to see some more mega Pokemon content here on my channel as we currently have the interlude season? We can try out more, like maybe like once a week a video about the mega Pokemon in Master League. Me asking on Twitter if someone wants to battle me. Let me know in the comments if you want this. I think it's a cool format. I think it's fun in general to see like mega Pokemon in Master League and it's something that you cannot really experience while playing Go Battle League so like you have to have some external sources there and I think it's a lot of fun to like watch and see the potential of some of those mega Pokemon here in battle as we see us farming down this Giratina there and we see a Zacian also level 50 which I didn't see at this time we go for the Psychic we're gonna be able to get the shield my only play here to win this I know that the Psychic will not KO is hope that they throw their move here and it's gonna be debuffing move and they're gonna go for the close combat as we're gonna go for the Psychic winning CMP against this thing that gets the level 50 Zacian as we're gonna be able to completely destroy him and win this game even though it's still double level 50 and here we have our rematch with him level using level 40 so of course he knows my team he still has a very similar team to what he played prior so it's not that difficult for us in general or like that bad but we're gonna be able to go for some nice damage now against this exit duel i was like confused about um him KOing me prior now he doesn't KO me but we lag a little bit and he gets two quick moves in while we are yeah by this, like while we try to get to our deco media but yeah it's fine as we still have our ground on him and we should be fine here. We can go for the fire punch, thinning the shield. As we see my opponent going for the dry run as we shield up as well. And we're gonna try to farm up a little bit extra with the fire punch now. And we're gonna be able to KO this thing. We stop immediately as we know the team already. But they actually changed the team that they have and now. The Dialga in the back, which is actually one of the best counters still for Mega Latios. And we see some lag and they swapped into the Giratina. And we can farm down hopefully afterwards here. As we're going to be able to shield up this Omni as a wind and we farm up the entire way down there. As we can go for another Dragon Claw here against this Dialga. Dialga should take a bit of damage of that and this is like nearly half of his health which is insane. We can go for another Dragon Claw as we're going to be able to finish off this um, Dialga with one more Dragon Breath. Good game there to my opponent. We go into the next battle here as we're gonna see um, Groudon against G Mega Gengar. I was expecting some Mega Gengars here as it's like one of the coolest Pokemon that you can use right now as well, as well as like the Charizard. We didn't really see any crazy Megas yet, maybe like someday when we do it in the future again. Depends on if you want it, let me know in the comment section, we might see some other Mega Pokemon. Kinda wanted to see someone using Mega Kangaskhan. I have one that I could use, which would be level 40 right now, so maybe next time around Mega Kangaskhan would be a cool thing to showcase. You'll have to uh, let me know. We're gonna be able to farm down the Zacian here now, which is a very nice with the Mud Shorts, as we're going to be able to 
see the lander is here and i knew already his entire team which means i should be able to shield here and should be able to have some nice potential to win this game still we see the Gengar coming in there we can go for the iron head as we do a lot of damage still with our dragon but here you see like megas are not as crazy bulky this is the thing mainly megas got boosted in attack which makes like their cp pretty high but they're still squishy so what I can say from what I've seen so far is that I feel like at least that Megas are good. Megas are most likely the best Pokemon in the meta. But if everybody has a Mega, I think it's balanced actually. There are still some more Megas that might have to get released for balancing reasons. For example, Mega Aggron would be something which I could see them bringing out as Mega Aggron would be one of the, if not the best counter to, for example, those um, Dragon types as Aggron would be a pure Steel type, which is very cool. Like it loses its um, Rock typing as well at this point of time. So you only have a pure Steel type with a Dragon Tail, which would be very cool against like all the dragon types so you had like some anti-meta things there you have Gengar already which would be like kind of anti-meta against the mega latios mega, mega latios so both of them also kind of died to that but yeah like in general i think it has some potential i would be open now with the new like the new update for megas that we might see like a mega cup or something in the future that would be actually something i'm interested in right now it's like like it's so easy to get megas like there's nothing that you can say anymore that oh okay i don't have the mega so i cannot play this cup because we had like recently the event or like in general we have like over the last year and a half or whatever we always had like some quest where you can gain some mega energy without having to do any raids at all so like if you play the game you would have been able to get those and the base forms of the mega pokemon are usually pokemon that are not really that good for example cherry and master league like you could definitely get one from there so i think this format has actually some potential and, and i'm looking forward to the cup at the um, end of the season and i hope that we might get something like this again for the season afterwards i think it has some potential definitely you maybe want to make something like um, a cp cap for master league now for example, uh, for level 40 Master League 4,500, for level 50 Master League 5,000, which would most likely like not allow you to use the slacking anymore because it would be so strong. But I mean, who uses slacking anyway? So I think that might be something that would be okay going forward to balance things out, which would also make something like Mega Ladios not as good. You have to have like a lower level one for that. But yeah, right now, I actually think it has some potential. I really look forward to the cup and uh, yeah, hopefully see some cool action with some mega Pokemon in Go Battle League in the future, because right now at least this new system makes it easier to get mega Pokemon, makes it easier to use mega Pokemon. And I think that's a pretty good change overall. And we can see here some opponent with a Melmetal, which is of course fine as we can take those rock side. But you see here again, like I'm a mega Pokemon with nearly 5,000 CP, still a neutral rock slide from a Melmetal, which is not really the strongest at Pokemon attack wise, still does nearly half of my health. Like it's not that I'm unbeatable with being a mega Pokemon. Of course, I'm very strong and do a lot of damage. But you see like even here, there's a 1500 difference nearly in the, in the CP stat and still like this thing gonna take me out because it still can counter me. There will be some more Pokemon more viable, most likely more the Steel types. I think Excadrill would be also one of the best, better Pokemon with the Mega Update. But um, yeah, like it's, it's definitely de doable. But still, we haven't lost a single game yet. Um, I can tell you there is a game which we're gonna lose, which we also lose, I think, fair and square. I don't think there was anything that was fishy. Um, so like it's not unbeatable either and I have one of the best if not the best mega Pokemon on my team right now so we see a Zacian in the lead which is of course totally fine as we can take one move and we can go for the um, Earthquake now and now they are in fire punch range which I'm definitely gonna take advantage of as we're gonna see Peter here onto the close combat from my opponent as they are gonna let go they're gonna go into their Mewtwo which is fine for us. We're just going to go for an Iron Head. If they have Focus Blast, they can go for Focus Blast. I'm just going to go for my Iron Head. I just want to have the shield, the shield so I have Shield Man show my Pokemon in the back. Do we have the Focus Blast back? There's no way. Bye bye, Tiaga. But we still have our basically best answer for Mewtwo. Like, Mega Ladios is basically one of the best answers for Mewtwo, especially if you know that they already have Focus Blast revealed. 
means they have nothing to hit you with. But still, look at the damage here. This is basically the same damage that Dialga would get from Sidestrike. I think the bulk is really comparable to Dialga's, but the typing is worse, but the attack is a little bit stronger. So, um, like, it's not too broken. Like, it's it's good, definitely. It's, like, most likely the best Pokemon in the meta right now, but it's not broken. Like, you can still deal with it. Same with like Manga Genga, of course, you see here I had good advantage there from having an Earthquake against it, which of course one-shots it. But even this, like 4,400 CP nearly on the Genga, like it's it's not completely broken. We see a Togekiss lead was just horrible for me, of course, so I have to stay in here and spam the Fire Punches, which is not the most interesting thing to watch, to be honest. But it's necessary because I have nothing in the back for this thing and we're gonna be able to go for some more fire punches here against this Pokemon as we can get to another one but they swap into Giratina. I go into my Diaga. What I hope here is that my opponent does not shield anything from me because I just want to get rid of this thing and my Pokemon in the back would be very very weak against this because I think actually Giratina might win against the Mega Latios in the two shield scenario as yeah, like it's so spammy, the, all the moves are super effective against it. Of course, mine are also super effective, but we are not as bulky as a Giratina. And Pork made us more in Go Battle League, but they let it go. They let the Pokemon in general go, and we can realign our Pokemon, seeing the Togas coming back, and they go to their Kyogre, and we have our Latios, which of course can go for some Dragon Claws as we just droop through the air. Like, it's, like the animation of this thing is so hilarious, to be honest. It looks so cool. We can go for some farm down now and because we shield everything up and we still have at least some health but you see already like he had resisted um waterfall damage against me and we're still like at nearly half health there from that so we're still very, very squishy i think we're even squishier than diaga not gonna lie but we can still get to one more dragon claw here which isn't kind of nice as we can now easily go for the fire punch we would have won anyway because we were needed two fire punches there we needed one more quick move and we would have been there so Pretty easy game here for us still, even though we lost the lead there because my opponent swapped out, which they shouldn't have, but it's fine. Oh, this opponent, I remember him. Um, this dude, I don't know, I think he was not really the most, I don't know, like skilled battler or whatever for go battle league not wanting to say anything against it but I, I just want to say his move choice is a little bit weird we have the mud slab excadrill here against us not even fully powered up to level 40 which is of course not the best but of course he hard counters me here so i don't know but we just gonna shoot this up because i expect him if if he has mud slab he definitely has earthquake and he had earthquake which is Again, not the best moveset. Try to play Drill Run. We go back into our Mega Latios against his, yeah, Water Gun Swampert. And we see another Mud Slapper with the Mammoth Swine in the back. And yeah, that's gonna be a good game. And also, the Mammoth Swine needed like 300 more um, CP, I think. So, very cool. Yeah, like change moveset, please. And also, Seraph on Swampert is not the best. So, yeah, like he literally threw all the wrong moves in there, but good game. Next up, we're gonna have. We're gonna have, we're gonna have. Against him, I always have like really cool battles. He leads off with basically the hardest answer to my Groudon there. And we can go into our Dialga against their Zacian, as the Zacian gonna be a pretty decent counter, but we're still gonna be able to get a one shield here. So, we're gonna swerve the. Close comment. I thought I would survive it uh, with more HP, to be honest. And now he can farm me down, which is not good. And we barely miss out of the Iron Head because of the damage we got prior, which is all not really nice. But we see the Ploy Ruff coming through here, which is okay. We're just gonna go for the Fire Punch, which should do a lot of damage thanks to the debuff and does do a lot of damage, but not enough. We swap out and they swap into their Mega Gengar. We basically got completely hard countered here. But we are a little bit more bulky than this Gengar. Gengar is very strong in terms of the attack damage, but the bulk is not really there. They go for the Shadow Ball as we farm them all the way down, as we still get to another move. Of course, we don't have Luster Purge. I only have one Elite Charge TM right now, and I don't really want to waste it on a move that is barely better in general. And we can go for a Psyche here, which doesn't KO, but we can farm down in time and we need to completely sweep his entire team with a Mega Latios, but we are still gonna be able to win this game there. Good game to him. Like I know that he bells me every time, so I'm really thankful for this. Very nice battle there. I um, 
enjoyed it and thanks for supporting me in general we see the lugia against us now which is of course also a little bit weak for me like a little bit worse for me and this should actually be the battle that i lose because it's the last battle of the video so i don't think there's any way that this is not the battle that i lose so let's take a look what happens here they bait me very nice played there very very good and they go into their togekiss at me having i don't know i actually find it weird is it an xl togekiss no it's not I will find it weird that I didn't get to the second iron head there. I was still over half health. I guess. I guess no, I guess I, I guess that's right. I guess everything is right here. Don't mind me. I don't think I had enough energy still. So yeah, all well, fine here. I didn't get to the second move. They bait me again with the ancient power. Like they play it perfectly. Like literally perfectly. And of course we also get kind of hard counter, but it's fine. And we can try to farm all the way down, but they throw now the move. This is already the flamethrower that you actually got to the flamethrower in time. And we have our Mega Ladios. There's nothing that they can have in the back, all right? Wrong. This is a Mega Bite Gyarados. And there's nothing I can do here anymore. We can try to go for some Dragon Claws against this Lugia and against this thing. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks all for watching. I enjoyed the Mega version of this Pokemon. I in general enjoyed Mega Master League. I really hope that this is gonna be a format any like sometime soon. Most likely at the end of the season, maybe in the next season. I would appreciate it. Maybe some more rules in this to make it a little bit more, I don't know, balanced. But yeah, this is gonna be it for this video. Thanks all for watching. See you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day and bye.